Hello, my name is Patricia Andrew and I'm going to give you a taster of some of the lectures that I give for the Art Society. My portfolio runs from garden history to painting to war art to the Grand Tour, from Europe to North America and I talk mainly about the 18th century and the 20th century. And I'm going to give you two examples today, um, one from Scotland and one from the south of England. I'm going to start with the 18th century Alexander Naismith. He's best known today as the father of Scottish landscape painting, but he actually was much, much more than that and he deserves to be better known than he is. He was a portraitist. For example, he created the iconic images of Robert Burns, a great friend of his, and this is a copy of one of Naismith's portraits. He was also a great engineer designing bridges. He was also an inventor and a garden landscape designer and much more. This painting from the 1820s is one of Naismith's many views of Edinburgh. It was his home city and he lived and worked here most of his life, though he studied in Italy and he also worked in London. Moving on to the 20th century, I'm going to talk about Eric Revilius. He's an artist I got to know when I became curator of the Towner Art Gallery in Eastbourne, his hometown. Revilius was best known today as a watercolourist, but he was also a great designer of glass, of ceramics and even of furniture. Um, and when I was there, he was actually rather neglected. His work had become slightly unfashionable. But I organised a touring exhibition, his catalogue, and by the end of it, his work was becoming more recognised again. Rulius died at all too early in age um, while serving as an official war artist in the Second World War. Now what I have here, examples of his work, including one of the designs from his garden series, a delightful series for Wedgwood. So I'll toast his memory with a mug. 